folks? How's it going? Welcome to this episode of Michael's Backyard Marina. Today is going to be probably, I think it's part six on the, my $100 boat adventure. We're going to get after the trailer. Today I want to try to get it cleaned up and get some fresh paint on it before I put me an electric winch on it. I'm excited to get that. I'm going to go pick that up today. But first I want to do is I want to get it purdy. I got to get it cleaned up. So there's only a handful of things to paint on this uh, because the rest of it's aluminum and doesn't rust, doesn't need paint. Uh, so I'm gonna see if I can get this thing up on sawhorses and get started. Let's go after it now. First, I gotta drag it up to a spot where I can work on it. Let's go. Okay, first step, get the wire wheel out, see if we can clean some of this up. Basically about two coats of paint on here, roughly. And I got the other pieces over here painted up, ready to bolt back on. I wasn't trying to make it extremely pretty. I'm just trying to slow down the deterioration due to rust. I think I've accomplished that. I love that Rust-Oleum paint. It goes on so good. Here's what I was using, the Rust-Oleum Professional. High performance, protective and animal. This is a smoke gray. 
on oil-based paint. This stuff goes on good and thick and heavy and sticks to everything, including me. Okay, folks, what I want to do next, I'm going to run to town while I'm not going to sit here and watch paint dry. Got to keep things moving forward. So I'm going to run to town. Harbor Freight has a electric winch that's supposed to be for a boat winch. I'm going to go get it. It's rated at about 2,000 pounds, which should be more than enough to drag something. We're going to get it hooked up today. And I'm going to actually hook it up to things and see what I can drag with it just for fun. Just see how much power it does have so I get an idea before I go out and rescue a boat with it. So, while paint's drying, I'm running to town. Okay, audience, we got uh, went out while the paint's drying on the trailer. Went out and purchased this winch from Harbor Freight. I had a coupon, a coupon, that would take it down from $80 down to 20% off, whatever that comes to. So I'll do a little unboxing here to see what we got for less than $80. And it's a 2,000 pound winch. It says it's a marine winch. It's got a remote. It's just an on off switch it looks like. And then we got looks like another plug in for hooking up to the battery. I think it actually got quite a bit of weight to it. Let me get it out of here. That's all there is to it. Now this was a marine winch, it says. 2,000 pound capacity. Badland winches is the brand. Uh... Like I said, it was regularly $79. I got it for 20% off. They also asked you if you wanted an extended two-year warranty for like 40 more bucks. I said no. We'll see how it's going to hold up and see how it's going to last. Looks like pretty simple. It's got a mounting, looks like a couple mounting holes here. We'll use that to hook it down. It's supposed to have, oh, what did it say here? Got a 10 foot remote, a hook with a safety latch, 12 volt, 12 volt battery cables, a mounting plate, and includes a mounting pay, plate, hook and safety latch, 12 volt, first layer, first layer line speed, four and a half feet per minute, no load, dead pull, 2,000 pounds, marine pull, 5,000 pounds, rolling stock pull, 6,000 pounds. Drum diameter, gear system, three-stage straight gear drive, 316s cable, 30 foot long. Overall dimensions, let's see, aircraft grade wire rope, that's the cable. Carry handle for maximum portability. So what's kind of interesting about this joker, just got this mounting plate that you can actually hook onto a hitch ball. And hook, looks like this should go just like that. If you had that set on a hitch ball, you could use it to tow or to, to pull something. So let's get after it and see what this thing's all about a little bit here. Looks like you loosen this knob here at free wheels. Whoa, slow down. The free wheel's pretty easy actually. Now, folks, I'm going to mount this to the front of that boat trailer you saw me painting because, as you saw in one of my previous videos, when you use a hand crank and, you, and it slips and the ratchet ain't all working like it, like it should, uh, people get broke. Now, about this is about four weeks old, this wound here now. Yeah, that's how much it's come along. It's just nothing but a little scar tissue left there now. No big deal. So, it looks like this one plugs into here. And what I'll do when I put this on the front of the boat, up front of the trailer, is I'll make it so that it's a uh, more of a permanent wire situation. So the fact that this thing only pulls one direction, that's it. That's why it has a switch. It's just a one-way switch. This doesn't unwind. It just winds up. It's designed to pull and pull only. Let's plug this into here. 
see what the heck I'm doing here. Actually, the rubber plugs and everything seem pretty nice and substantial. And I like the fact that I got this remote that's 10 feet long because I can get a long ways away from it. Okay, I've been wound all 30 foot of cable here. And I think this thing makes this kind of noise because it's got a ratcheting sound. And that's once you engage that ratchet so it doesn't slip. So this thing retracts at a rate, it says four and a half feet a minute. So this should take several minutes to wind this thing back up. But I'm gonna put tension on it and see what that does for me. Other than it being a little bit of a noisy cuss, it seems to work okay. I've hooked this on the edge of the bench here, put quite a bit of tension on it. This is a half inch steel top. Uh, it wasn't gonna crush or collapse that for sure. Uh, but I think it'll pull a boat up onto the trailer. I think that's something we'll, we'll find out. We'll get it after it in the morning if it ain't raining. Get that plate. I think I like the idea. I think I'll have to play around with it tomorrow to see if I wanna actually take these studs out of this plate here and mount these directly to my piece of aluminum that's already there. That way this thing can easily ride in the back of the, the tow vehicle. And when I need it, I can put it on there. Just slides into place, pull it, do what I need to do, connect what I need to connect and run it. And then uh, maybe the battery rides in the back of the vehicle with me as opposed to hooking it permanently on the tongue of the trailer. I think I'll keep my options open for now and think about that for a little bit. Because as I go and grab some of these boats that are possibly laying in the backyard on the ground that people want gone, then I can actually uh, have options to move this thing around. Because there may be a situation where this is kind of nice too. I like this because that hooks onto a trailer hitch ball. Then his hooks onto there. You can hook it onto something and drag something um, in another direction too. It's got me intrigued as to what I want to do. We'll play around with it a little bit. We'll decide tomorrow how I'm going to try to run my first boat rescue. Okay, folks, today we're going to mount the winch. I have decided not to use the quick on and off. I am going to actually use an existing bolt hole here. And I'm going to drill one more hole back here. Right there. And I'm just going to use two bolts to hold this winch down. Typically, your hand crank winch on your boat trailers only have the two bolts holding it down. I think if I use two good grade 8 bolts on this with some nice heavy washers underneath to give it plenty of support, We'll be golden. Let's go ahead and bolt this thing down. raining so I'm not going to go outside and play with the winch yet. Good news is I got the other rollers mounted on here so it's ready to accept the boat. So all I got to do now is find the boat. All right folks I finally got a break in the weather so we're going to see if this thing will actually pull some weight.
What I've got it hooked to is a pretty good sized diameter hickory nut tree. Let's make some noise. The cool part about this, I'll be able to stand a ways away from it. Right in front of the camera even. I'm pretending this is a boat that I'm trying to rescue that uh, somebody wants to discard to get rid of and wants hauled off so I can pick it up and haul it off for them. took a lot of pressure it actually started sliding the Jeep a little bit yes and that's pretty tight oh yeah like a banjo string I'll see what happens when we release the pressure I think that's enough to pull a boat on no problem well this is what I'd call a limited success folks um, the tongue the whole system here looks like it would work and it would handle, obviously if this is max of 2,000, I took it to the max, or 6,000 uh, rolling. I think I pretty much took it to the max and uh, might have crapped out. So I might, I might just try to take it apart, see what's clicking and what's not moving. And I think I'm going to call this video done for now. Uh, when I do the next video on this trailer, I put the tires on it and finish my marker lights. I'll uh, give you an update on what the what I found out with the wind. So stay tuned. Well, folks, this is fun for now. Got to figure out what I did, what I broke. You guys get out there and do something fun. It finally stopped raining, so I can get back out here and do something fun and break something. I don't know. But uh, so far, I'm pretty happy with the trailer. What it's going to do, how it's going to work. I think this is a way to go with electric winch. Just because the hand cranking a boat on their trailer is a lot of work and a lot of risk of getting work, hurt because you're too close to this cable and stuff. With the remote, I get to stay away from the cable, away from the danger, and once it's safely on the trailer, strap her down and go. All right, folks, get out there, enjoy your life, do something fun. Michael out. Okay, folks, I took the cover off the winch and it kind of looks like what happened here is these teeth got a little bound up because this shaft hangs out a little bit of ways here and doesn't have any support so allow it to flex up and, and right up on top of that gear. I'm going to see if I can pop it free.